here all summer working hard seven on sevens five days a week going off and now that we can actually put pads on and start doing all that real stuff it's can't wait it's kind of like a relief because the entire off season from our last game against memorial we won it and we wanted another week but we didn't get another week so coming up to wednesday it's like we're finally getting back in the swing of things and coming together as a team it's just it's exciting. I wish I could have played football today, really. I'm ready for it. I've been ready for a couple weeks now. And I think everybody feels the same way. Kids were talking about it before. Everybody's ready for the season to start. This whole group of seniors, for most of us at least, we've been together since elementary school. We played Pop Warner football together. We pretty much grew up together and, you know, it's finally all just coming together. It's like the final piece of the puzzle, kind of. So we've kind of learned on like what we can rely on each other for and like how to cooperate as a team. And it's just, you know, they say that what you do in the off season is what creates champions. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think everyone's worked pretty well, but here it is, the season, you know, and this is where it counts. This is make or break. It's everything in general from like coming in the morning, meeting here at 8 a.m., getting, seeing everybody stroll up in their cars and stuff, walk out with their football gear. It's like, I don't know, it's a cool feeling. It's kind of like Christmas morning when you like walk downstairs, you're like oh, presents and stuff. I don't know. It's like walking, have, watching your teammates walk out of the car. It's like, all right, it, it gets you excited. Happy overall. Um, we do. We try to encourage multi-sport athletes. Um, we really push that. So m most of our kids play other sports, which means that at times they're not living in the weight room as much as I would like sometimes. But um, the kids did a good job. They, you know, this summer, they, you know, a lot of them are playing Legion baseball or they're playing uh, different lacrosse travel teams and stuff, which is good. It keeps them active, uh, and they come to workouts when they can. So we did, you know, got some good weight training in. Did some seven on sevens. Uh, and especially our older kids are pretty dedicated, so I'm pretty pleased with where we're at heading into the season. You know, we were in every game last year. Um, we just talked to them today a little bit about it, even with um, we were in every game in the fourth quarter. So every game was, was a score or less, that, uh, the ones that we didn't win. And, you know, we ended the season on a good note. We won a couple games, finished above 500 but we didn't make the playoffs. So that's kind of the next thing. So I think they're, they're definitely hungry. They see that it's in reach, so it's, it's a possibility at least, which is kind of nice to see for um, a smaller school. So I think the kids kind of realize that. And it, I think it helped get them motivated and, and yeah, keep them coming back to the weight room and maybe a little bit extra extra bit of hard work because of that. Oh, I think we did an amazing job. You know, we're in, we were in the weight room all off season doing whatever we could to get better. Uh, and then it's just the family aspect. We have our own group message that we've been in for while now just making each other laugh getting bonding closer and all that stuff so i think we're a well-knit family now at this point already yeah i think everybody knows what our goal is everybody knows we're all we're definitely more focused this year towards 
reaching that goal and reaching playoffs and getting deep into playoffs. But definitely everybody's more focused this year. We all, everybody put in a lot more work than they have in the other past off seasons. And I think that's really shocking. Oh, it's kind of, it's an abstract thing, the whole idea of it. Um, we're, I mean, we're the smallest school that will, out of anybody on our schedule this year. That's just, that's a fact. But, um, you know, at the same time, you have 11 guys on the field at a time, and that's it. And, um, you know, so I guess I, I can see why we would fit into the underdog role at times in, in that sense. But the goal is to try and be able to compete each week. And I think we showed last year that we're capable of doing that. But we have to play well in order to do that. So um, I, I, don't, I don't see it so much as underdog, just as, you know, we're hoping to compete just like all the other teams are. I mostly look forward to just getting together with all my friends, just just excited just to be back again playing. There's nothing like it, just football season period. That's what I'm looking forward to, and I'll be looking forward to it Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Just kind of worried about my leadership skills. I want to be, you know, one of the guys that kind of steps up and leads all, like, the underclassmen and stuff like that, and I want to, my other teammates, my other senior captains to – be right at that level. So I just hope that we can get out there and really motivate kids. I don't want kids, you know, quitting because that's kind of what happened last year. We lost quite a few kids within the first couple weeks of the double sessions, the Camp Mytina, that kind of stuff. You know, all the underclassmen just didn't seem too into it. But uh, my hopes is that this year we can kind of change that up a little bit. I hope that we can have some good leadership skills within like the first week or so and kind of get those underclassmen excited. kind of dirty, like unclean. I don't like it because there's just so much chaos. So even last night, it's kind of, kids are excited at times and other people are excited about it starting, but I, you know, didn't sleep well and kind of you're worrying about a lot of different things. There's just between registrations and kids getting their physicals in and there's a lot of, a lot of nonsense. So you got to deal with that stuff. So um, the first practice, it's always kind of a little bit hectic. It doesn't go as smoothly as you would like. Um, so we do the best we can planning it, but kind of a survive and advance mentality. So 
today was not as bad as we've had before as far as your first practice. You're kind of learning, you're practicing how to practice. So I thought, you know, our older kids stepped up, so I thought it was all in all okay first day. first practice. I mean, first practices are always, always going to be slow and stuff, but it, I think it went well for the first practice. The younger kids seemed to pick everything up pretty fast for what we did, and I think this afternoon will be better. We'll probably be installing some offensive stuff and some plays. Hopefully they pick it up fast, but overall it was, it was a better first practice than years before. We survived day one, and it wasn't a total cluster. So, you know, sure, it was it was an okay morning practice. Um, there were some good things. There was there was some good leadership on display from the seniors. I thought so. That was nice to see. Um, beyond that, most of it was just like learning to tie our shoes and learn how to walk. So, you know, it was it was okay. We survived, uh, but there's a lot of work. It's different. A lot of freshmen, it's the first time being away from home. And, uh, but our older kids are doing a good job of kind of keeping, taking care of them. And, uh, so far, so good. We actually take away the kids' cell phones, too. And for a lot of them, it's the first time they've been without a cell phone, believe it or not, for any, any length of time. Um, so that kind of forces them to you know, find other ways to <laughs> enjoy nature or, or get to know your teammates a little bit better. most fun part about camp. Hmm. I can tell you the least fun. The least fun is definitely the lack of time between practices and lack of showering that we get to do. I just don't feel clean at all here, even though I'm showered and probably am. The heat, for sure. Yeah. We did um, all these uh, circuits yesterday. A um, bunch of scrimmages. We go from seven on seven straight to eleven on eleven, and that takes about an hour and you start feeling that heat right away. As soon as you step out the cabin, it's just right on you. You start sweating immediately. Last night, went to bed, still sweating. Woke up, still sweating. 